So we've come to the last step of our calibrations. We've done the tear length, we've done the tear calibration. Now we have to do a span calibration. We run a weight over the conveyor. We go and get it weighed, or we already know the weight. And then we see what the monitor, th monitor this monitor thought it was. And then we enter the actual weight. And that sets what we call a scale factor in this system. And from there on, it should know what a weight is as it's passing by. And it should give us accurate uh, weight numbers, flow rate and load weights. So we're going to try that now. We have a little receiving hopper here, homemade, holds 250 pounds, and that's what's in it right now. Andy's going to turn the conveyor on, and then we're going to run that amount over into the skid steer bucket over there. Um, we'll see what it says, and we'll go through the calibration steps. Okay, Andy, go ahead. We're going to run mode. And we're going here. And now we're good to run this load through. This is load one. We're starting at zero pounds. And we're good to go, Andy. Andy's going to open the chute. Potatoes will roll through. Not too fast, Andy. So you can see the weight accumulating. We've got a flow rate of about eight pounds a second. You can hear them falling into the skid steer bucket. You can see the weight sink increasing. We're almost at the end. All right, and that's the end of that load. Excellent, thanks Andy, you can turn it off. So we see that the monitor, our scale thinks that we had 143 pounds go by, and we know it was 250 pounds. So now we'll go through the steps of doing the span calibration. So we'll escape out of this. We'll go right arrow key to calibrate, enter. We go to span. And we hit enter. We see the monitor weight at 143 pounds. We'll accept that. And now we're going to enter the actual weight, which we know to be 250 pounds. So we enter the numbers like that. We use the cursor keys to go to the right position, then enter the number, 250, enter. Save new data, enter yes, and that's done. So now we can repeat the process and see if we're consistent. So I'll hit enter here, and now we go to load two, which we played with this before, so we had 27 pounds. I'll just set that to zero by pressing the down arrow key. So we're starting load two at zero pounds. So we've reloaded the hopper with our 250 pounds, and we're ready to run it over again and see what load number two says. Okay, Andy, open the chute. Starting to see the weight go over the scale. Nice and slow. We had a little bit higher flow rate this time than last time. And there, it's passing by. We're almost there. Good. Excellent. We're seeing 247 pounds, Andy. And I would say that that is really good. On a small sample like this, that's, that's a good span calibration. I would not touch this again until we had run maybe five more samples and then look at which way we're trending. Are we always a little bit low? Are we always a bit high? Um, if, if we're consistently low or high, then we can use the numbers from those five next loads and take an average and enter those to bring our span calibration to a little bit higher accuracy. But for now, this is really good. We're not touching it. 
and, uh, and we'll see what the next loads do. So that brings us to the end of our video presentation here today in this workshop. Uh, we've shown you a whole number of items, different components that form part of a conveyor scale kit that comes from Greentronics. Um, Andy explained how the components get installed and what the different points are that you have to pay attention to as you go through that process. We've looked at how everything gets wired up to the electronics, the console and the junction box. Finally, we went through all the calibrations that are necessary to make a conveyor scale give accurate results. And that's where we've kind of ended. We are three pounds out on our 250 pound test weight, which is just excellent, just over 1% error. That's really, really good. Um, thank you for your attention to this. We will follow this up with further short, in short videos to explain more of the details of this conveyor scale system. There are many more features, optional attachments uh, that you can have with this system and we will cover those separately because it will otherwise get way too long. Um, and uh, so look for upcoming videos on our YouTube channel and you can link to them from our website. Any questions, please make sure to contact your dealer or contact Greentronics directly. We look forward to meeting with you. Thank you.